Sandy Hill has an extraordinary history. Uh, when we think back about what has happened in uh, Sandy Hill over the last 150 years uh, or so, we've had 10 prime ministers who lived in Sandy Hill, four of whom were in, in the office of uh, being prime minister while they were living here. But we also had uh, writers, athletes, scientists, uh, opera singers, uh, who lived in, uh, in Sandy Hill. And as a result of that, there's an extraordinary concentration of uh, history in, uh, <clears throat> in this small Ottawa neighborhood. I mean, there's you know, stories of, uh, about Mackenzie King, who lived at uh, Laurier House. And we all know that he had a, a dog named Pat, and he liked to walk the dog. He was in Strathcona Park, and he meets a young boy walking his own dog. And so they sit on a park bench overlooking the Rideau River talking. And that young boy was John Turner. And John Turner grew up in uh, Sandy Hill. Uh, and uh, so he recounts that anecdote in his, uh, his memoirs. In 1917, the First World War, Robert Borden is a prime minister. He lives on Württemberg uh, Avenue. Laurier is the uh, leader of the, of the opposition. He lives on Laurier uh, Avenue. So in 1917, in those critical months, you had the prime minister, the leader of the opposition, the putative uh, prime minister, all living within blocks of, uh, of each other. So when we walk on Laurier Avenue or other streets, we're literally walking in the footsteps of some of our nation builders. I've mentioned prime ministers, fathers of confederations, uh, civil servants and politicians, and it would be wrong to think that this was an, um, just an enclave of the elite, although that was, that was true. But you had people like uh, Barbara Ann Scott, uh, so a world-famous skater who won the uh, Ol Olympics uh, figure skating uh, championship in 1948. She grew up in Sandy Hill on a house on Rideau Street that unfortunately no longer uh, exists. Frank One-Eyed McGee, who uh, played hockey for the Ottawa Silver Seven, uh, set a uh, Stanley Cup record that will probably never be broken. He scored 14 goals in one Stanley Cup game. So this was before the NHL. This was when the Stanley Cup was, uh, was still a challenge uh, cup. The, the red uh, poppy, I mean, we all know it as the symbol uh, that uh, we wear around Remembrance Day. Well, the woman who introduced the red poppies uh, to Canada was born in Sandy Hill. She grew up here. There's no doubt that her, her uh, social awareness was developed uh, here because her father, who was the first Jewish immigrant to uh, Sandy Hill, uh, did a lot of work helping immigrant Jews. And Lillian Freeman, the, the poppy lady, as she was uh, called uh, by the veterans after she, uh, she died, she remembers as, as, a, uh, as a kid that when she came home uh, from a school, she never knew whom she would find at, uh, at home. You know, people whom her, <clears throat> her father would have welcomed home because they needed a shelter. And then she herself became one of the city's biggest uh, benefactors. Uh, she received the Order of the British Empire. I mean, the first Jewish woman to be so uh, honored. And uh, she's been designated as a woman of national interest by the uh, Canadian government for all the work uh, that, uh, that she did. So history is, is important, it affects us, it colors, uh, it, it colors our uh, growing up in ways that we sometimes don't, uh, don't uh, realize, and it makes the neighborhood what it is.